Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? The Pokemon Sun and Moon anime has been out for a while now, and with the upcoming Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee games coming out really soon, Pokemon hype is again at an all-time high. In fact, a pretty big discussion has been brewing around just how strong Ash really is, and by strong, we literally mean how strong Ash is physically. How does the Sun and Moon Ash compare to all of the previous Ashes that came before him? Not that our Sun and Moon Ash is a different character, but over the course of time, his art style has changed, and as many of us noticed at the beginning of the Sun and Moon anime, his battle prowess also seemed to have been weakened. So if so many aspects of Ash changes whenever he enters a new chapter in his life, then why not take a look at how all of the Ashes rank, from the weakest to the strongest since his journey started way back in 1997. That's probably how this discussion started on the Japanese board, but let's take a look. So at the bottom, at the number 5 spot, we've got the Sun and Moon Ash. Sun and Moon Ash has demonstrated many times he is alright when it comes to his brute strength as well as his stamina. Such as during the pancake race when he had to lug Pikachu along with a ton of pancakes coming to about 6 kilograms. He effortlessly climbed steep slopes while others struggled behind him. However, it seems like he has lost his ability to throw or even lift logs in Sun and Moon while also the face he makes while getting shocked by Pikachu seem to have intensified when compared to the past. So while he does show higher than average strength, he is nowhere near the strongest we've seen him. And so he sits at the bottom of our list as the weakest Ash we've ever seen. At the number 4 spot, we have Diamond and Pearl Ash. The famous picture that got people talking about Ash's strength back then was when he was seen holding a hippopotamus with just his head. A hippopotamus weighs an average of 49 kilograms, which pretty much lands Ash at superhuman strength, with his ability to not only hold a hippopotamus with his head, but also moving around freely with it. He was also able to climb towers with ease in the Rise of Darkrai movie, so not only is he a weightlifting champ with his head and neck, he's also got the dexterity to go with it. At the number 3 spot, we have the OG Ash. Since the very beginning, Ash has shown signs of impossible strength, and you probably didn't notice it when you first watched it, but in the Mewtwo Returns movie to heal Mewtwo, Ash needed to bring him to the heart of the mountain to get him to the spring where he can be healed. And so, Ash carried Mewtwo all the way to the spring and once he got there, he lifted Mewtwo with his bare hands and chucked him straight into the water. He didn't gently let him slide in like a decent human being. Ash straight up bazooka Mewtwo into the pond, just to remind you how alpha he used to be. Mewtwo is 122 kilograms, so you can let that sink in for just a second. And also, tied at the number 3 spot, we have the Black and White Ash, the most durable Ash we've ever seen. He's been thunderbolted many times in Black and White, but he takes it straight on with a smile. He also has no problem taking a Voltago to the stomach, so just for his ridiculous durability, he's tied at number 3. At number 2, we have the Advanced Generation Ash. Known as the Ash that never skipped leg day, this Ash can jump as high as a building and as far as he needed to, and it's also the Ash that can throw tree logs at an inhuman level. This Ash has truly reached superhuman levels, and is no doubt one of the strongest Ashes in all of Pokemon. And now finally, at the number 1 spot, we have our X and Y Ash. Ash constantly had Pokemon all over him during his X and Y adventures, and not only were they on him, he was usually doing something athletic while they were still on him. Ash also had to throw a Gudra once, which he was able to do, and with Gudra being 150 kilograms, he surpasses the Ash that was able to throw Mewtwo. The X and Y Ash had everything. He was able to take hits, he had crazy endurance, and to top it off, he also had strength. He was truly the strongest Ash we've ever seen, which is probably why that was the closest he has ever gotten to winning a Pokemon League. Anyways, there you have it, all the Ashes ranked from weakest to strongest. Which Ash was your favorite Ash, and why? As usual, let me know down in the comments below. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, don't forget to hit the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.